Hello there, today we're going to have quite a long video as we're going to be looking at part 1 of the rares inside of the Barons. The Barons has a lot of rares in it and there are too many to cover in one video so I've split them up into two parts. I'm using Mancrick's line as I like to call it as the dividing line between north and south and it's about where the rift was in Cataclysm so it's a really good indication of kind of defining north and south Barons. So in this video I'll be showing you all the rares, locations and drops inside of the northern part of the Barons. First up we have Dishu on the road leading out of the Barrens up towards Ashenvale, just at the base of Dreadmiss Peak. Dishu is not a difficult fight but what I would say is be aware because she does spawn three cubs with her when you get her to a certain amount of health. Killing her will give you just a random green. She has no unique loot, but still, it's a green nonetheless. Elder Mystic Razor Snout Up next we have Elder Mystic Razor Snout, a level 15 elite that hangs around to the northeast of Thornhill. Getting to Elder Mystic Razor Snout can be a bit of a pain in the arse as she is pretty much covered by adds, however it can be worth it. Typically we'll have a chest nearby so that we'll always have greens in and herself will also drop a green when killed so overall can be worth doing. I would watch out though because she can heal herself so if you are doing it solo I think you might have a bad time. You'll probably want to take a friend with you on this one. Rathorian. Up next we have Rathorian, my favourite mob in the Barrens personally, a level 15 demon that hangs around at the top of Dreadmist Peak. Rathorian is really cool because not only is, well the top of Dreadmist Peak is a really cool area anyway, it kind of has this blood orange tint everywhere, but he also drops unique items. He has a 75% chance to drop Rathorian's cape and a 25% chance to drop the Ritual Blade, so both unique items to him. He's in a really cool area, it's really interesting and not a lot of players actually come up here, so he's probably going to be alive. Stone Arm Up next we have Stone Arm, a level 15 elite that hangs around in the southwest area of the Forgotten Pools. Now, Stone Arm himself is not that particularly challenging to kill, yes he is an elite but his damage is pretty low. Uh, I think you could maybe do this solo if you were very careful about it and you had some CC, other than that I would probably just bring a friend just in case. He doesn't have any unique drops, he will just drop a random green for you but, you know, a green is better than no green. Rock Lance Next up we have Rocklance, a level 17 elite centaur that roams around the Forgotten Pools. Rocklance is going to be pretty tough to kill as he always has two ads with him and he roams about all the time. He actually does a fair bit of damage as well. I probably wouldn't try and kill this guy unless I was doing some sort of completionist thing and killing all the rares and the barons. The reason being he is quite tough to kill and he doesn't actually drop anything unique, he just drops a random green. So overall it just doesn't feel that satisfying to kill him. Broke Spear Up next we have Broke Spear, a level 17 normal rare that hangs around in the northeast area of the Stagnant Oasis. You'll know Broke Spear by the two tents and bonfire outside. There's not too much um, in the way of buildings out this way, so he's pretty easy to spot. I'd definitely say this guy is worth killing because even though he has a couple of ads with him, he's not an elite, so he is pretty easy to take down. Not a lot of players will head over this way and kind of see him. He's very easily mistakable for a normal centaur. 
and he also spawns near a chest. He also has a 25% chance to drop the runic cane, which is a unique item to him. So overall, a pretty satisfying kill actually. I would definitely recommend going and checking him out. Snort the Heckler Up next we have Snort the Heckler, a level 17 normal rare that patrols just west of the Forgotten Pools. Now Snort the Heckler actually looks really cool as a beast and he really does stand out against the other hyenas. Sometimes he looks purple, sometimes he looks brown, I just think generally really cool. Um, it does have the ability to kind of cast some sort of poison or disease body. Unfortunately, I didn't really get much in the way of that because I have quite high resistances. In terms of loot, he doesn't really have anything special. He will just drop a green. And please don't try and run away from this guy. He can do tendon rip. Sister Wrath Talon. Up next we have Sister Wrath Talon, a level 19 elite rare that hangs around in the dry hills to the northwest. You'll find that Sister Wrath Talon kind of patrols around a lot and is often interweaved with a lot of the mobs, so you do want to be extra careful, more to the point that she can cause a debuff on you and will also cast lightning storm, so if you are caught in that you will take a crap load of damage and you will definitely not enjoy your day because it is a long run back from the graveyard. But if you do manage to kill her she will reward you with a guaranteed green, sometimes two. Tack the Leaper Up next we have Tech the Leaper, a level 19 elite raptor that hangs around just east of the Sludge Fen. Tech the Leaper looks really really cool for a raptor and I'm not sure if there are any other raptors in Classic WoW that look exactly like Tech does. So if you are a hunter and you really like raptors, I think Tech is definitely worth um, trying to get. I love the kind of emerald feathers and emerald beads and stuff that's on him. Really really cool. If you're looking for loot, however, you are going to be a little bit disappointed. He doesn't drop anything unique. He only has a guaranteed chance to drop a green. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. If I were you, though, I'd be the good WoW citizen that you are, and I'd leave him for hunters to tame. Engineer Whirligig Up next we have Engineer Whirligig, who sits atop the oil rig in the Sludge Fen. Engineer Whirligig is actually a really really fun rare, as he's not that difficult to fight, and he has some really cool spells, so one of them is he will summon a little Harvest Reaper to attack you, and my favourite one is he will also summon an Explosive Sheep as well, so overall a really really fun fight. As for Lou, Engineer Whirligig is actually a little bit disappointing, he will only give you a random green, no unique items, which is really weird considering that Blizzard have obviously spent some time having him, you know, with these unique spells and the explosive sheep and all that sort of stuff, so I do find that a little bit bizarre, but nevertheless there are other rares in the area, so you're not really missing out too much. Foreman Grills Up next we have Foreman Grills, the level 19 lean mean threat reducing drilling machine. Unfortunately he doesn't really have any unique loot, he's just a mob that's in the way. He's going to drop a green so you might as well kill him. Sludge Beast Up next we have the Sludge Beast, a level 19 elite ooze that kicks around at the bottom of the Sludge Fen, right near the side of the pool. He's actually the strongest of the three, which I find a little bit bizarre, and he has this absolutely horrible disease he puts on you that reduces the time between your attack and your movement speed. So if you hit with melee weapons or, or bows or anything like that, you're definitely going to have a bad time against this guy. I'd definitely bring a friend to help you out. As for loot, just a random green again. Gesherahan.
Up next, we've decided to break the mold with Gesherahan, a level 20 elite Hydra that actually has some unique loot for a change. Gesherahan will sit inside the pool right outside Wailing Caverns and is actually really tough because um, he actually has tons and tons of health, so you are going to need a couple of people to kill him. I don't think you could do this solo. As for loot, actually really good, a 75% chance to drop the Shiver Blade and a 25% chance to drop the Pulsating Hydra Heart, an actual rare, so if you do see this guy, you definitely need to find someone and team up and kill him because the Pulsating Hydra Heart is a very good item to have. Swift Main. Up next we have Swiftmain, a level 21 elite zebra that runs like the wind. It is incredibly hard to catch this guy, you kind of need to know where he's running if you don't have a 100% mount, which I'm probably going to guess you don't if you're in the barrens. And yeah, he's, he's just really fast, so if you can catch him, good, good on you. He's not really that difficult to kill even though he is a 21 elite. I think if you had some CC you could definitely take him on, there's not a lot of creatures around him. As for loot, he will pretty much just guarantee you a green, maybe two sometimes, so yeah, if he's there and you have the opportunity, yeah, kill him, but other than that, I won't go looking for him. Swingart Spearhide Up next, we have Swingart Spearhide, a level 22 elite quillball that hangs around near Agamagor. He actually can be quite tricky to kill as he has a couple of mobs near him and he actually does a fair bit of damage. Um, so it's not surprising that you would probably need to take a couple of friends here to take him out. The disappointing thing is that as for Lou, he's really not got that much on him. No unique items I'm afraid. Again, maybe one or two greens would drop but you know, aside from that, there's nothing really any. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really special about him. If you are going to kill him, though, I will just say um, it's not covered in this video, but in the next one, there is another rare just directly south of him as well that also offers green. So, I think if you're going to go this way, you should definitely take him out. Humar the Pride Lord. And our final rare in the Northern Barrens is Humar the Pride Lord, a 23 elite lion that hangs around just north of Ratchet in the same area as Swiftmane. This guy, I like to call him the practical joke rare of the Barrens because as you'll see here, I get him below a certain amount of health and then all hell breaks loose and he decides to pull every single lion in the immediate vicinity. This is a really funny trick to pull on your friends, especially if you have a healer healing you, watch as they take aggro of all seven or eight lions and they all come running. Don't kill this guy unless there's five of you, it really hurts, and he doesn't actually have any unique loot whatsoever, you'd at least expect a rare for going through all your troubles. You might be able to pull him away, but his pull range with that roar is hefty, just like that Warhammer. So that concludes all 16 rares in the Northern Barrens. If you are attending BlizzCon, I highly recommend checking out the rares map that I've linked in the description. That should just help you give the general locations of those rares and help you with killing them if you feel like doing it. If you like the video, please do leave a comment and let me know. And if you'd like to see more from this channel, please do subscribe.